Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. Scientists have discovered a massive black hole that formed just 400 million years after the Big Bang, far earlier than previously thought possible. This groundbreaking find challenges our understanding of the universe's infancy. How did it come to be? Join us as we delve into the mystery that could reshape our view of cosmic history. This isn't just an unusual finding, it's a game changer. According to current theories, black holes of this size shouldn't exist so soon after the Big Bang. Their presence suggests unknown mechanisms at work, as if certain regions of the universe evolved at an accelerated pace, producing these colossal objects ahead of schedule. But what could have distorted the cosmic timeline so dramatically? And here's the twist. While this black hole is smaller compared to some of the universe's true giants, its early existence defies conventional models of black hole growth. If it doesn't play by the rules, what other surprises are lurking out there, rewriting the cosmic handbook? Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists are uncovering hidden layers of the universe's history, like peeling back the ultimate cosmic onion. Webb has captured glimpses of galaxies bustling with newborn stars, and evidence of galactic mergers that may have fueled the growth of these early black holes. It's as if the young universe was hosting a chaotic gathering, with galaxies colliding and shaping new wonders in the process. The mechanisms behind the formation of these early black holes remain both intriguing and elusive. One leading theory points to direct collapse black holes, which emerge from the collapse of massive gas clouds without first forming stars. Another possibility involves hyper-efficient accretion, where smaller seed black holes rapidly consume surrounding material, allowing them to grow at astonishing rates. Regardless of the process, these discoveries challenge and expand current astrophysical models. But the surprises don't end there. In addition to CS1019, the telescope also identified two more rogue black holes within galaxies CS2782 and CS746. These cosmic giants appeared about a billion years after the Big Bang, each weighing around 10 million times the mass of the Sun. They are part of a larger group of 11 galaxies that formed just a few hundred million years after the universe's birth. This isn't just a fascinating glimpse into the past, it's a paradigm shift. The findings are reshaping our understanding of how galaxies and black holes co-evolved in the universe's earliest epochs. Every new piece of data acts as another puzzle piece in the grand story of cosmic evolution, transforming speculation into direct observation. What makes this discovery truly groundbreaking? Spectral data from CS1019 revealed a galaxy brimming with new star formation, along with evidence suggesting a potential galactic merger. Picture two galaxies colliding, their combined turmoil fueling an insatiable black hole. This high-energy spectacle may hold the key to understanding how such enormous structures formed so soon after the Big Bang. With each collision and burst of stellar activity, scientists gain a deeper insight into the complex and chaotic evolution of the early universe. Beyond the groundbreaking insights from CS1019, the discoveries in CS2782 and CS746 add further complexity to the narrative. These galaxies, which took shape around a billion years after the Big Bang, also contain relatively small black holes. While not as ancient as CS1019, their modest masses raise questions about the pace and mechanisms of black hole growth. Could these objects be the remnants of primordial black holes, or do they hint at an entirely new formation process? The key may lie in the intricate dynamics between stars, gas, and gravitational forces within these galaxies. The telescope's survey of 11 early galaxies serves as a roadmap to unlocking the secrets of the universe's infancy. Formed between 470 and 675 million years after the Big Bang, these celestial structures are more than just remnants of the past, they are active records of cosmic evolution. Each galaxy's unique traits, from its rate of star formation to the behavior of its central black hole, provide essential clues for reconstructing the early universe's history. Perhaps the most striking takeaway from these findings is how they upend long-held assumptions about the early cosmos. For years, scientists believed black holes of this magnitude couldn't form so quickly. Yet the evidence now tells a different story, 
one where these objects not only existed but thrived in the turbulent environment of the young universe. The data gathered isn't just a treasure trove for studying black holes, it's also unveiling critical details about galaxy formation. The 11 galaxies in the CS survey offer a glimpse into a universe in flux, transitioning from its turbulent infancy to a more structured adolescence. By analyzing their properties, from their star-forming activity to their interactions with neighboring systems, scientists are gaining valuable insights into the forces that have shaped the cosmos as we know it. How did the universe evolve so rapidly in its early chaotic state? The discovery of these black holes and their host galaxies underscores the intricate cosmic interplay at work. It's more than just black holes consuming matter or galaxies merging. It's about the complex dance between gravity, radiation, and matter that ultimately sculpted the large-scale structure of the universe. Factors like dark matter distribution and the influence of cosmic filaments all play a role in this grand evolutionary process, with each new discovery adding another layer to our understanding. As researchers continue to analyze the data, the broader implications for our knowledge of the universe's evolution grow even more significant. The revelations surrounding CS1019 and its counterparts are just the beginning. With each fresh observation and dataset, we move closer to unraveling the full story of how the universe's earliest structures formed, interacted, and set the stage for the galaxies we see today. The telescope's mission is far from complete. With its unmatched ability to look deep into the universe's past, this extraordinary instrument will continue to reveal the cosmos' deepest secrets. From the formation of the first galaxies to the emergence of ancient black holes, it serves as more than just an observational tool, it is a portal to the unknown. The universe's story is still unfolding, and with this technology leading the charge, we are on the brink of discovering chapters we never imagined. Standing at the forefront of an astronomical revolution, it's clear that this telescope hasn't just expanded our understanding of the cosmos, it has reshaped our perspective of our place within it. Each new revelation underscores the vast, uncharted wonders still waiting to be explored, inspiring humanity to look further and embrace the limitless possibilities of the universe. Before the cosmos settled into its current form, it was a chaotic, lightless expanse, a period scientists call the Dark Ages. For centuries, this early era remained an enigma, like a locked diary containing the universe's best-kept secrets. But now, armed with cutting-edge infrared technology, the telescope has cracked it open, unveiling details that are rewriting the very foundations of our understanding. And then there are the black holes, the universe's ultimate gravitational powerhouses. The telescope's latest revelation? A black hole so ancient that it formed when the universe was a mere 400 million years old. To put that into perspective, if the universe's entire existence were condensed into a single day, this black hole would have appeared at 6.00 a.m., long before the cosmic party had even begun. Even more astonishing is the sheer size of this black hole, millions of times the mass of our sun. The big question, how did it grow so enormous in such a short time? No one has a definitive answer yet but existing theories are toppling like a precarious Jenga tower. And it's not just black holes rewriting the cosmic playbook. The telescope has uncovered galaxies from the universe's infancy packed with carbon, an element essential for life as we know it. Until now, astronomers believed heavy elements like carbon took billions of years to form inside stars. But the data suggests the cosmos was churning out these elements far faster than previously thought. This rapid enrichment points to the universe's first generation of stars, massive, short-lived giants that burned hot and exploded in spectacular supernovae, seeding space with the raw materials for planets, life, and everything in between. Then there's GSZ-12, a galaxy with a name straight out of a sky fee epic, but its real story is even wilder. Forming just 350 million years after the Big Bang, it has a chemical signature that defies expectations. It appears to be producing elements at an astonishing rate, like a cosmic factory running at full speed before anyone thought the machinery was even built. How did these early stars and galaxies spread their stardust so quickly and efficiently? 
The answers remain elusive, but each new discovery is like a breadcrumb leading us closer to unlocking the secrets of the early universe. The telescope has also detected complex organic molecules in galaxies over 12 billion years old, molecules that resemble the soot produced when something burns on Earth. While they are not signs of life, they are the raw ingredients for life's potential. Finding them in such ancient galaxies suggests that the universe was laying the groundwork for biology far earlier than expected. If you've ever wondered whether we're alone, this discovery nudges the answer toward probably not. But the telescope isn't just scouting for organic molecules, it's also conducting a deep dive into interstellar gas and dust. Think of it as a cosmic census, measuring the temperature, density, and composition of matter in galaxies from more than 13 billion years ago. The results? These galaxies weren't sluggish blobs just beginning to evolve. They were vibrant, star-making powerhouses, pumping out elements and energy at an astonishing rate, like a toddler acing college-level chemistry. And here's where things get even more mind-blowing. The light from these early stars and galaxies wasn't just illuminating space, it was transforming it. The data suggests this intense radiation ionized the neutral hydrogen that filled the cosmos, marking the end of the dark ages and allowing light to travel freely. In other words, these early galaxies didn't just exist. They reshaped the universe itself. This phase, known as reionization, was like the universe powering up its own energy grid. And it wasn't just stars driving the process. Supermassive black holes, with their intense radiation, likely played a crucial role in reshaping the cosmos. When it comes to black holes, the latest findings suggest they weren't merely passive observers in the early universe. Instead, they acted like disruptive forces, stirring up their surroundings with powerful outflows and jets of energy. These interactions may have jump-started star formation and dispersed essential elements across space. Were black holes the primary architects of galactic evolution, or were they simply byproducts of the universe's rapid transformations? The answer remains uncertain, but the telescope is uncovering clues at an astonishing pace. Every spectrum it records is like a message from the distant past, revealing how the first stars, galaxies, and elements emerged. But this research isn't just about tracing our cosmic origins, it highlights how deeply connected everything is. The carbon atoms detected in ancient galaxies are the same ones that make up your DNA, fuel your morning coffee, and fill the air around you. The universe isn't just something we observe, it's a part of us. Early findings suggest that the building blocks for life were present much earlier than previously believed. These discoveries go beyond scientific breakthroughs, they are redefining our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. The telescope's groundbreaking discoveries have ignited the imaginations of stargazers, dreamers, and aspiring scientists. Every image and data set it collects serves as a reminder that we are part of a cosmic narrative that began billions of years ago in a dynamic, star-filled expanse. As it continues to probe deeper into the universe's history, it's not just revealing the secrets of ancient galaxies and black holes, it's offering insights into our own origins. To truly grasp the significance of these findings, we must explore their technical and theoretical implications. The early detection of carbon and other heavy elements challenges previous assumptions about the efficiency of the first generation of stars. These so-called Population 3 stars are believed to have been enormous and short-lived, producing supernovae powerful enough to disperse their nucleosynthetic materials into the surrounding interstellar medium. This process set off a chain reaction of chemical enrichment, enabling later generations of stars to form with a more diverse set of elements. The telescope's observations are providing long-awaited evidence for this theory, but they also raise new questions. One major mystery is how these early stars managed to form in the first place, given that the metals that typically aid star formation in later periods were nearly non-existent at the time. Equally intriguing is the discovery of complex organic molecules in galaxies dating back less than 2 billion years after the Big Bang. These molecules, considered key building blocks of life, suggest that the chemical conditions necessary for life were already developing while the universe was still in its infancy. This challenges the traditional view that life-friendly conditions take eons to develop. 
Instead, it suggests that the universe may have been capable of supporting life far earlier than previously believed. The implications for astrobiology are profound. If the essential ingredients for life were already forming in distant galaxies billions of years ago, it significantly raises the possibility that life could have emerged independently in multiple locations throughout the cosmos. One of the most fascinating aspects of these findings is how they conflict with established cosmological models. Prior to these observations, simulations of the early universe suggested that the first galaxies would be small and diffuse, slowly merging over time to form larger structures. However, the telescope has revealed that massive, chemically rich galaxies existed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. This suggests that galaxy formation and chemical enrichment were far more rapid and efficient than previously assumed, prompting a re-evaluation of our understanding of cosmic evolution. The telescope has also deepened our understanding of black holes in the early universe. Traditionally viewed as destructive forces, these objects appear to have played an unexpectedly constructive role in shaping their surroundings. By emitting intense radiation and propelling material at high speeds, black holes may have influenced star formation and the distribution of elements within their host galaxies, further highlighting their significance in the universe's rapid transformation. By peering into the faintest and most distant corners of the cosmos, the telescope is unlocking new insights into dark matter and dark energy, two mysterious forces that shape the universe yet remain largely unexplained. Mapping the distribution and motion of galaxies across cosmic time could offer crucial clues about these hidden components, bringing us closer to understanding the true nature of the cosmos. Are we on the verge of rewriting the fundamental rules of the universe, or will these discoveries only deepen the mystery? And that it. The universe is rewriting its own story, black holes, ancient galaxies, and the building blocks of life. What does it all mean? Drop your thoughts below. Like, subscribe, and keep exploring with Spaceverse. See you next time.